Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions. Yes, there's only four fixtures this week, the first week of the winter break. Um, I don't quite understand why we've got a winter break, but obviously it's something that the Premier League's trying out. Um, so there's not a lot to reflect on, except from the eight teams that are playing this weekend. We talk about their results, talk about their league, and then we talk about a bit more about VAR. I know you're probably tired of me uh, talking about VAR, but it just keeps coming up in the press. And there's a few things I want to talk about. So, anyway, guys, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. The link for my merch, which I do sell, is down in the description below. So go feel free to check it out after watching this video. Um, and also, you know, there's a few bits of bobs that I want to get to you guys on one some of you guys to question as well um but anyways it's all cut off this video so anyway guys you know what to do subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the first game we're going to talk about is everton versus crystal palace everton beaten watford 3-2 away from home and crystal palace lost 1-0 at home to sheffield united um everton went 2-0 down in that game as well i'd just like to point that out I think that um, Everton did ever so well to come back against a really good Nigel Pearson side. Um, I think Everton's that club that's shown, you know, no matter how big the, the, the score can get, there's always time to come back and Everton sort of proved that against the win against Watford. Um, as I said, Crystal Palace lost 1-0 to uh, Sheffield United at home. Um, no real big disappointment if I'm all honest. Uh, let's go over to the form table quickly. Um, Everton 33 points, only picking 8 points out of the last 5 games. Uh, Crystal Palace 30 points, only picking 3 points up their last 5 games and not won a game in their last 5 over for Palace. Um, this game I think is going to be a slightly interesting one. Um, which one will go for a 2-0 Everton win for that one. My next one is Brighton over Albion versus Watford. Um, Brighton over Albion joined 3-3 away to West Ham. I'll talk more about that in just a minute. Um, Watford loses 3-2 at home to Everton. Um, right, let's talk about this Brighton result, uh, I've just got to go to the table quickly and get this bit out of the way. Brighton have only put three points up of their last five. Um, Watford are down in the relegation zone still, picking seven points up for their last five. Um, Watford are on 23 points, Brighton are on 26. Um, right, yet again, VAR was used in the West Ham Brighton game. Um now that's a great comeback from Brighton. But we still got to talk about the fact that, you know, the VAR was news in the Brighton game. Um handball by Murray. I don't think it was a handball. Um it did hit his side, I've seen it more than once. Um but my thing about this VAR is I think the Premier League are using it absolutely wrong. I think, yes, do use it for handballs by me, but don't take up like, over two minutes to look at it. I mean, when you watch it at home on telly, which yet again I do disagree with, you get more when you watch games at home on the telly than if you're actually there in the stadium. All we're seeing is about one angle for about a minute. If you're not sure, change the angle straight away. And then, but it really does frustrate me. And use the on-field monitors. Let the fans know what's going on. Um, but, you know, as I said, great comeback from Brighton. And this was reverse result was, you know, Brighton win, I think it's about 3-0. Um, but different times then. Um, but because of that point at West Ham, I'm going to give this game to Brighton 
just about, and I'm going to go for a 1 0 Brighton win. My next one is Sheffield United versus Bournemouth. Bournemouth beat Villa 2 1 at home. Great three points there for Bournemouth. Um, Sheffield United beating Crystal Palace 1 0 at home. Uh, great three points, uh, sorry, away from home. Um, Great three points there for Sheffield United. Expecting nothing less from Sheffield United though. Um, go over to the table quickly. Um, Bournemouth have won their previous last two games, giving them a maximum of six points. Sheffield United have only got seven points out of the last five games. So confidence wise, um, Bournemouth could probably be just a bit more confident. But I know how well Sheffield United are doing this season, and obviously I'm looking at the table while I'm doing this. So I'm going to go for a Sheffield United win, and I'm going to go for a 3 0 Sheffield United win. My last one for this weekend, as I said at the top of this video, there's only four games, is Manchester City versus West Ham. I'll go over the results quickly. Um, Man City lose a 2 0 away to um, Tottenham. West Ham drawing 3 3 at home to Brighton and Albion. Um, right, yet again, VAR was used in this um, Tottenham and Man City game. I watched that game, and okay, fair enough, I don't want to stop and, you know, stuff play like that. But I have got a butt involved. Um, you cannot let play physically go on for two minutes and then call it back for a penalty. Um, if Tottenham scored, there would have been an uproar anyway. So if not, if the ref said we're not 100% sure, just stop the play. Just stop. Because otherwise, what you're going to end up with is fans thinking they scored a goal. And well, no, you chalked it up because, you know, this situation happened. Not good enough. Um, but as I said, stop play. The referee's not sure, go wrong, I'll stop play so we can talk it over. Then I can go over to the on field monitor. Um, but yeah, I found that a bit frustrating with that Tottenham game. Um, I remember talking to my dad and that about this, and going, if Tottenham scored when they, before I got the penalty, there would have been another uproar. I mean, come on, Premier League, come on, FA, you, you think you know, come on, think you know football, let's see it. Um, but yeah, I was frustrated with that. Um, West Ham disappointing day, and West Ham went one new up, two, I think they went two new up as well. Brighton came back two one, West Ham went three one, and then Brighton got the two other goals. Um, so disappointing day there for West Ham, and West Ham are currently sitting in the relegation zone with twenty four points, only picking two points up from their last five games. Man City have picked ten points up from their last five games, but surely. The title is Liverpool, but I'm gonna go for Man City win, and I'm gonna go for a four 0 Manchester City win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. So a big crop from hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.